Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Alright everybody, welcome to our first paper premium live event. Sorry, I don't want to be Bubba Ray here. Uh or Bully Ray. I guess I already did that once. Let's just do that right away. Uh, our first premium live event here on Season 2 of WWE 2K My GM. Uh, welcome to the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Um, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, please consider giving us a subscribe. It's free. And uh, hit the like button while you're there. It helps out for everybody see the channel. Uh, we do record these live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash MikeTheRef every wednesday and saturday following the two hour aew shows whether it be collision or dynamite and uh yeah so we gotta get into this because well we're in first place right now but there's been a bit of a angry part that's been put into us here something that's gonna piss me off royally as we get into this card here so but if you were here last week you got to see what happens but let's get into this right now, and I'll show you it easier right now. <sighs> so Gunter, Rollins, and Lynch all not allowed to use at the pay-per-view. Which actually isn't bad for the fact that we could actually keep them healthy. At least a little bit healthy. Alright, so in the journal it says that Becky wants to make an appearance here, but can't. Uh, Ava has one more week left. We'll have to make sure that our least popular available cruiser is in a match this week. Which, if we... We'll take a look at the roster in a second here, but I don't want to screw this up. Let's get our uh, boost available for the pay-per-view. Wanted to get that right out of the way here. So we got 115,000 for the show here tonight. We're not gonna, we don't have any asset money left for anything else, so we're good there. But let's take a look at this roster in terms of roles. Classes, least popular cruiser. I guess we gotta go by popularity here. Oh, so we gotta have Scarlet in a match tonight. All right, that'll work. I'm sure we can fit Scarlet into it. I, I think we're going to do a rematch for the tag titles. Just because we have to, because we need... All right, so our biggest rivalry right now, we got two of them. We got to settle a rivalry at the pay-per-view here, so... So we'll do this as our main event because it always gives us a boost right our opener i want to do lidge there but i can't you know what we got our other level three let's use it look at this Close the casket with your opponent inside to win. 20,000 fans, but your loser is removed from your brand. Like, you literally lose the wrestler completely from your, from your brand. That is nuts. But my show's over cost already, so... Risk it to get the biscuit? Yeah. Oh, with that, it would have been over. Okay. So let's do that. So we'll do the two cage matches just to uh, get the... Our biggest rivalries going here. So our next one, we're going to do a tag title match. 
We'll just do a normal tag. Set up that. We'll set up for the titles. If we could get a title switch here, there is a possibility. Like, we got to get Ivy Nile and Ava Moreno into a... Uh, into a feud or into a match together. So we'll definitely be able to do that. If we can get the title switch, you can put them on a title match. Now, because we've had all this stupidity going on, I got, uh, my three top guns I can't use. So we're a little limited in what we could do here. You know what? Maybe we'll... <sighs> we'll do Dom against Clint. The convict against the cop. Just for the lulls. And do we want to do Ava versus Cora just to get her fired up again? I think so. So we got a we got matches booked. We, it isn't the card that I want to have, but it's the card that I think we're going to get. But let's see what we can do for some promos. Call out Gunther. You might as well, since he ain't allowed on the show. He's a four, so what do I want to do for that? Who does she have a feud with anyway? Oh, Scarlet. Actually, I don't need to... Uh, oh, there we go. We'll do trading with her. Let's do advertising with MVP. I want to use that other block, but I don't have it. Let's go see what... Oh, oh. Cancel that. Let's let's go see who we have for generic schmucks to bring in here. Uh, let's take a look at our roster here. Let's see who we can. If, I want to see we got heel versus face here. Five face female, females. One, two, three. Only have three, three heel. That's a little off. Who do we have in terms of? So we got a special. Oh. So we got a bruiser, we got a bruiser. We got a bruiser, we got a bruiser. We got two fighters. Two fighters and a cruiser. She ain't going to cost me a lot, so maybe I'll throw her in there just to...
Well, Trixie's been worked on a little bit here, so maybe I'll try to use... And her bike skills are three, so... Side her for five weeks till the next pay-per-view here. And Trixie, we could put her... If I do a charity promo, we go over budget, so... We do a self promo there. I think this is about as good as we're gonna get here at this point. If Cora wasn't in a match, I'd call her out to uh, face Becky Lynch, but. Maybe we'll do it this way here and move her up here. I think this is about as good as we're going to get here. We'll put the tag title match in the middle because if it ranks higher than everybody else, I don't care. Put the steel cages on both ends because they they have the rivalries between the two of them. I think this is going to do it. What do we got for power cards? I don't know because I can't really afford anything, so... All right, well, all the world hates a coward. I guess it's... You know what? For giggles, since we got the star power there, I'm going to go that way. Because I know that tag title match will get me more money than... There, now we can balance it out a little better. Yeah, I think this is the way to go because you got that star power, that opening match. Yeah, okay. I, I could sit here and argue this to the cows come home about everything here, but let's see what we can do here. So we're going to have to find out what everybody else does first. So for ECW, no promos, just all matches. All right. Angel Garza, Josh Briggs. Garza upsets Briggs in a four-star match. Finishing off the rivalry. Good for them. Rousey Niven versus LeRae Brightstar. The Ray of Bright Star and a three star in that rivalry. Okay, good job with the rivalry. No titles on the line here. Damien of the Miz versus Bait and Creed. Bait and Creed, champions win. Sheamus and Logan Paul at a tables match. I hope that the splitters get Logan up the ass. Uh, Logan wins three and a half. All right. Iron Man match with a run in from Isla Dawn. For their main event. This is probably going to be like a five star. Yeah. Damn them. All right. WCW only has one promo. Okay. First off, for the women's title, champion Gigi Dolan taking on Tiffany Stratton. Tiff Tiff is the new champ. Good on her. Bliss calls out Rodriguez to advance that rivalry. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat making his first appearance in here against Captain Grog. One, two, it's over. Dragon in a two-star match here. Gotta love seeing it. Karrion Cross versus Johnny Gargano. One, two, it's over. Bring it. Karrion Cross injured for a month. All right. Big E, Finn Balor against pa and Paragon J. Pierce in a triple threat. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. Balor wins. 
in a two-star map. He's booking this properly, I'll say that. No title on the line either here. McIntyre and Orton, that's weird. Why would you put the title on the line? It's only level two, all right. No promos here either. I'm the only one who did a promos. Should be interesting. Jimmy Uso versus Braun Strowman to open. This should blow off the rivalry. Four stars, all right. Our truth and Shinsuke. Shinsuke and a three star. Okay, so they're doing pretty good on these. Beach and Bailey. No title on the line again. One, oh, that's a tag two, title. There, bud. Meechin wins. Finishes off the rivalry. Tommaso and Rude. One, two, ring the bell. I forgot that card works for all three brands that they're going against. So everybody got screwed except, you know, Haman, right? One. A four and a half star match. Ugh. All right, so now we get on to our card. In a rematch of our main event last week, we are going to see JC Jade and Scarlet challenge for the SmackDown Women's Tag Titles against Fallon Headley and Billy Slugger. Well, let's check this out. The one good thing about this is the fact we get the bigger. The bigger arena, get the extra fans. Charlotte North Kakalaki instead of Puerto Rico, but but we should get the extra boost on all this stuff just because the. Uh... We'll get the extra ticket sales. We'll get everything here, so. But yeah, that Haven card screws everybody up, not just me. So this might be a way for me to get out of this without an issue. So I guess we do get all four entrances before the announcements, so. Once again, everybody, thank you for hanging around and uh, checking things out. I'm actually impressed with Scarlet's moveset as things have gone along here. I could have made this a stipulation match, but I didn't really have the money for it, so. I'm hoping for the fact that this is a rivalry that they'll pull out a good match. And I'm also hoping that the next match is absolute garbage. And I got a feeling since Becky's going to be pissed with us, we might have to blow off that, uh, blow off that title match on the next show. Scarlett getting the full entrance here. I haven't seen her do the close up like this. At least she'll have the opportunity to take care of her husband now for a month because since he's he's on the injured list for a while. So I did the two cage matches here because that's the one way to finish the rivalry off.
And one of our Hall of Fame goals is to run the uh, the what should we call it the uh, finish off five rivalries at P PLEs. So if I get two done here, I should be able to get two, if not three done on the next one. Just get those Hall of Fame trophies lined up as fast as I can here, right? So after we're done here, we're going to have to look at the trades that they have available, which I'm probably not going to do much. And Billy coming out with the title, just all smug and sure. I love that all the branding has uh, Puerto Rico banners on it, but we're doing uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I, I wish that was something they would fix up in the game. I understand that you... You may not be able to have the specific arena, but at least do the advertising the same. All right, here we go. Alicia, t here's the otters. Oh, they got Samantha here. Never mind. He's a tag match set for one thumb. And it is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, the team of JC Jane and Scarlett. And their opponents, the team of... So at least they kept the uh, ring announcers <coughs> constant based on uh, who was there for the actual show. It's pretty cool. And Jessica Carr hold the titles up. Some of the camera work was somewhat like uh, what they have at AEW tonight. Missing some of the important points like actually showing the titles. So this is just a straight up tag match, so I'm hoping it doesn't take lot extra time, but I was going to laugh if that was the finish. Good old kick in the back. Gotta love it. But having JC and Scarlet here is my, uh, my feeder team to start off. Actually, it's turned out really well here. Just laying the boots down. I'm surprised Fallon got caught with that. Sorry about that, chat. It's a problem with doing this in the middle of summer here with the... Uh, Temperature fluctuates all over the place. If you're going from cold to hot, hot to cold all the time, you end up getting uh, a little bug all the time. Billy Slug with a knee to the head, quick cover.
just the one count says referee referee car there That bear takeover. Oh, reversed. Jade, Jade gets fed a nice old right hand there by Edley. All right, that had to suck. Hot tag into Scarlet. I don't know how many of those words we'd ever hear, but. It's early. I don't think you're gonna get a get a three that quick on a head, headly like that. Nice drop kick. There's your tag into Slugger. European uppercut to the back of the deck. Aren't you picking the wrong corner, Scarlet? I was gonna say, you don't throw her, that, that's what you do. Billy's doing it the right way here. Champions are wrestling like tag team champions here. Headley and Slugger working real well together here. Not even a one count, wow. Should be able to do some tag team moves, shouldn't you? I'd like to go in and adjust my partners here so I can actually keep these guys as actual partners together, right? Nice splash. Henley doing everything she can here. Champs win by count out. I'd love it. By the way, Darth Mick, good to see you here. Sorry I didn't uh, comment back properly. Hot tag to Jason Jade. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> She's backing off. Didn't work. Beautiful spot on the pine. Stack cover. There's a view. <laughs> Jesus. There's supposed to be camera cuts and all that, but apparently that ain't happening here. Cover hooks the leg. Two and a half. We might be getting closer to new tag champs. Forget those new tag champs. I am going to be looking forward to it. There you go. Cyclone kick. Cover. Scarlet, get in there because Billy's coming for the save. No, she isn't. 
We got new tag chats. This works out perfect for me. And this is probably going to end up going to a level two or a level three rivalry here. So next week I can put the champs in a non-title match against Ava and... Uh, three star, okay. I just got to hope for my next match to be absolute trash. And Dominic and Clint should be trash. All right. Let's see here. Weak promo, but it got it over. All right. I can live with that. All right. So Dermody Dominic versus Clint McDougal. The cop versus the, the criminal. Please be trash. Is it bad that I'm asking for a trash match here? We'll have to see how the cage match does and see if I should have switched it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds. Dirty Dominic Mysterio! This crowd is just booing the hell out of him and I love every second of it. Loser. Use the door. I, I love that look of Dob there. I might actually try to use that for for the thumbnail for the PLE tonight. But it's nice to see us get new tag champs, like I said. It's the only title up for grabs tonight. I didn't have enough people to... If I wanted to get my promos done, I didn't have the ability to do a tag title match. I know I should have waited to the PLE to have Heyman throw that card at me before it's setting up my champions. Then I wouldn't have had to worry about it at all. Oh my God, Dom, that lighting does not help your face whatsoever there. And Looks like Stack with Slacks and Geriatric. Island, New York, Red to blue. <laughs> if you ever take a trip down to the Mall of America, you better follow the rules. The shops close on time or you're facing hard time. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It's the mall shop time. Dun, dun, dun. Clint McDougal make you walk the line. You drink too much orange, Julius. You might be serving hard time. Hard time. Uh, the album will be released in a couple weeks, folks. But yeah, definitely this match is for the lulls. Look at that belt buckle.
Clinch just picking apart Dom here. Nice springboard splash. Really, I set this up for Dom to be an easy win for him, but... Down for the cover. Just a solid one. Stops the hand over and over again. Guess you can't get cuffed if you can't feel your fingers. Let's go, creep. Back to jail. What are you doing, McDougal? Dom pulling his raven taunt. Like, I do expect Dom to win this. Respectfully, that's how it should work here, but... Hard stomach, hard shot to the chest there. Is it me or has McDougal been shrinking as the match has been going on? Wins on a, wins on a slam. That'd be hilarious. The one thing I am glad about is the fact that if we do these cards like this, I'm glad that we're not going to have to worry about them anymore. Like, heyman has got that card. He can only use it once. Just two there. Okay. I see you, Clint. Don't get too excited here. Could he get the pin? This is a lot closer than I thought it would be. Uh oh. Ref should be in there telling him to get the choke out, but obviously that ain't happening. Dom again with a splash, hooks the leg. Just a one. McDougal just having nothing here to do. Going up to the top. There it is. That should do it. And yeah, what up, Diddy Dominic Mysterio? The man who has got so much trouble waiting for him. Oh, there we go. One and a half. I like that. I, I just wanted a poor batch there. That's all I needed. This is about survival here. But they got a rivalry, so that worked.
Oh, nice. Trixie get herself over a little bit. All right. So this one here is one of our two rivalries that we need to clean up. Uh, Ilya Dragunov and Geriatric. Jerry I only got for a couple more. Well, I, I just signed him for another five weeks, so I had to get him through this show here. So, but yeah, let's get this feud done. Probably could have held it out for another week, but we got the Becky uh, Cora feud to, to clean up. So, and the fact that once again, I need to get that Hall of Fame card set up. So one of these times we are going to have to book a casket match and just. Well, that probably won't be until like season four. Just based on the money that we're going to have to make to get it. Like we really need to hit a home run on this to make our money back here. Which I think we will. Based on the size of the crowd that we have right now. Sorry, just checking a couple notes that just came across the wire here. And his opponent from Orlando, Florida, weighing in at 122 pounds, Jerry Hattrick! Oh my God. They tried to bring out Earl Hebner in Montreal tonight for Impact to do the uh, screw job on Mike Bailey, but it apparently it failed. I guess it works out since his, his uh, son Dave works there, right? So. All right, Jerry, let's see what you can do here in a steel cage. I'm assuming Dragunov bops the floor with you, but... This is a level three rivalry. You guys... It, it seems like... Uh, geriatric is some, one of the guys that would look enjoy being in the yard. The ref just says, nope, buy it, open it again. I'm going to laugh so hard if Jerry wins this steel cage match and ends, ends the feud as the winner of it. Look out, here it comes. Heart punch. Jerry putting in some serious work here. Oh, 
Oh my God, he is going to win this. Jerry is going to win this. Are you kidding me? He is so close. Oh, never mind. Jerry being dragged in by Ilya. I guess everybody deserves one hope spot a match. Oh, Ilya, you could have just bounced right out. Backdrop into the pit. Jessica Carr just looking outside like, nope, I ain't count nothing. You can count yourself. Well, that's gonna suck. So essentially part of this card, this this match here, in terms of the rankings, is just an extra match that we get in. Our first obstacle's been complete as we, uh, our second match wasn't as good as our first. This dragon off kicks out at one. It'll be interesting. Ava Moreno and uh, Cora Jade. That might actually be a very decent match. Dragon off just says nope. Uh oh. Torpedo Moscow, that'll finish it. There you go. Dragon off wins the feud. As expected. Three and a half. Rivalry done. Then I probably should have put it first. All right. Well, better know later, right? Made 10,000, lose to popularity. That's fine. All right. So. This was supposed to be Cora Jade versus Becky Lynch in a cage for the women's world title. Thanks, Paul Heyman. Now we get Ava Moreno in this spot, which it's still ain't going to be a horrible match, but at the same time, it's not what we could have got. Like Ava, we had early in season one. Happy to get an opportunity to bring her back. And we'll see how things go. I might extend her again, but all depends on money too, right? I bet you Cora's just as pissed too, but oh, yeah. I'm wondering if I can hold out long enough to keep this for the next PLE. 
the Becky Cora feud, but that might go into cooldown. It would suck if I wouldn't be able to touch it there. Because it's like the one solid feud I carried over from last year or last season. So Ava and Cora, yeah, like I said, this one should be a bit of a... I tried to set up the mid-matches to be a bit of a sh schmoz. I probably would have scheduled to run it on one of these just if I had the bodies. But literally everybody I had is on this card. Now, if Ava ends up putting this one, I'll put, I'll give Jade and, uh, and Becky the title match. And if Jade manages to win it, that means I can just put Ava in that spot as first challenger, right? Nice drop kick. Into the corner here. Avo tried to take charge here. I love this. It's interesting how they let faces do heel moves like that. Looks a leg. Two and a half. Nice way to go there. Now shots to the back once again. They said, don't get too cutesy, ladies. Yeah, you do the same move again. Make people bored. Well, she tried to do it for the fifth time, and Cora said, nope. Blockbuster! In the cover! Just the two counts. Cora fired up, so it looks like she's getting ready for a finisher. Running drop kick. That just must have been her taunt. I do love the way that you can book this match, just simply saying we wanted to get Cora the championship match she deserved, but unfortunately Becky wasn't able to make it. We're actually going to get a count out here. Nope. I think Cora said this is about enough here. Almost. It's gotta be time for a finisher here.
Oh, missed. Reversed. Ava coming back. Uh-oh. Is it time for the last ride? Splash Mountain Powerball. Uh-oh. Is it going to be a burning hammer? Shock treatment. Shout out to Abyss. Oh, wow. All right, Ava, I see you. Now this sets up perfectly. So Ava should get a shot after, if, uh, after Becky and uh, Cora Jade finish up. That's all right. Two star I can live with for now. Training. One XP for Ivy. Okay. Now our main event, another steel cage match, another feud that needs to be finished. Uh, Stax called out Corbin one week and now they've been going at it for a few weeks and now it's got to get settled one way or the other here. So let's get to our main event. I know the booking, it, it's being stretched on this, but... After what Heyman did, it sort of screwed me over a little bit, so. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Channing Stax Lorenzo! Stacks all full of confidence. I will have to say our next set of shows will be a little lighter, I think. Depending how Lynch feels, we might have to give her that main event, but... Like, my ultimate goal is to get enough money here so we can get the actual arena for every show. But that's going to be a while yet. Like, in season two, to get the CWC already is actually, I feel, pretty big. Pretty big positive. We do get the bonus for the pay-per-view here. We paid the extra 50 grand. It's definitely worth it for the amount of money that we're getting here. I'm hoping we pull a profit off this. But I think this has got to be a little bit of a specialty for, uh, for Corbin here being stuck in a cage. Crowds behind stacks, that's for sure. One thing I do like about this game is the, uh, the cage matches don't last overly long as I'm jinxing it right now, I bet. No stacks, no stacks. That's a little early for that. I 
I'm really hoping somebody makes it out the door on this one instead of the pitfall. I'm just waiting to hear what Becky's message to me is after when we get the feedback here after the show, right? Oh, ref said, nope, I ain't open that door no more for you. Yeah, don't get into a boxing match with Corbin. Former Golden Gloves winner. Big splash, hooks the leg. Yeah, you're only getting a one count. You're probably gonna have to escape the cage. That's gonna be my wild guess. Oh, deep six. Doesn't even get a one count. Nick crossed that bottom rope. Deep six again. Is he just going to walk out? I think he might. Stacks ain't even coming close to coming up. Oh. Corbin, what are you doing, man? You had that one. He had a one that he just gave up. All right, I think we're going to see it into days here. Oh, there's some blood. Oh, Corbin going out there over the top. Is he gonna have enough to get out? Got the first half done. He's trying. I think Stack's gonna catch him. So close. So far away. Dragging him in the hard way. This is going to suck. I want to try climbing out myself, but that's just me. Swing neck breaker. Corbin tried this again. But Stax is already up to his feet, so that ain't gonna go far. Nice double sledge. Got a few hundred shots in there, jeez. Once again, another cut. Of 
Corbin doing everything he can, but he's absolutely obliterating stacks here. Looks like that might be enough. The stack's gonna be able to get to his feet in time to block this. I don't think so. No, this one's a foregone conclusion now. There it is. You're gonna see Baron Corbin win this feud. Crowd's not happy about it, but. Here is your winner, Baron Corbin! I do like the fact that he shows him on the outside winning instead of inside the ring. But you can see he was in a fight. And a four-star match to finish it. I love it. Okay, so note to self, if you're going to do the cage matches, bookend them. All right. So we did okay. Now let's see what our report cards say. Good booking. So we do have to get that. We would have had that rivalry win over a little higher. So we got a level two, we got a level three. Now a new level one, rivalry complete, rivalry complete. So we're good. Smackdown, rivalry complete, rivalry complete, level one. It's still level four, didn't finish it. Sucks to be them. Amazing booking though, so. An amazing booking for them as well. Level two for that one. So that's why they didn't put the title up. Cross out four weeks. Level one feud. Level two. Level two. So WCW's doing okay. ECW. Rivalry complete. Level three. Level three. So didn't really finish anything, but... Means I'm doing a lot higher in students and stuff. So we'll see how things go. Let's see how... Oh. ECW got 125,000 boost and made 96,000. So nothing. Nothing too spectacular there. Except for the 125 part. 102 for WCW and up to 229 for theirs. Why did Drew McIntyre decide to get him DQ'd? So that's why. All right. Raw gets a 115,000 and made 168,000. What an end to the robbery between Meechin and Bailey. Great payoff. What a fluke trying to get Meechin won't happen twice. Oh, that robbery's done though, so. 347 and 96, 2947 and 347. All right, let's see what we got. 107,000. We only made 72,000 because we had the two cage matches. That's okay. Billy and Fallon work well as a t Yeah, okay. We knew that from before, so. So that So we're still leading, but it's a lot tighter now. Alright, let's see what bonuses we get. Ten talent scout points. I can live with that. Contract negotiation. So we can add two weeks to any contract. So we are ahead, but we're only ahead by about seven thousand fans now. And Pierce has a hell of a budget. So we're still at first. We're barely at first, but I think we're going to be a lot closer to being ahead here in just a sec here. But now it's time that we have to go through our potential trades and then get up to week one because it will not allow...
it will not allow us to save at this point. So we're going to have to get through everything else here. So let's take a look at what trades they got to offer us here. Oh, so it, we could offer a trade to anybody we want right now. I'm happy with my roster right now, to be perfectly honest. I will see what they offer me. They want Ava and Baron for $216,000. Basically, he wants to take two of my stars away and give me cash equivalent to them. Basically, that would be the, a, a complete soft, but I still have to replace those guys. Yeah, I'm good. You want Jerry. You want Jerry for $26,000? Um, I could get any washed up rookie now. Sure. And ECW wants Ava Moreno for 6,500. Uh, no. I have plans for her. Especially after what you did to be a jerk. San Antonio, Texas, four weeks from SummerSlam. Oh, Becky, I'm sorry. Moderate decrease. Well, that means I just got to get you a main event spot here. I don't mind the paid, but if I don't want serious injury, is it okay if I take two weeks off? You know what? I'll give him the health spot card. So he just won't be available this week. Okay. I don't use a lot of that. Specialist student specialist on your roster gain. 10 ring XP. Yeah, I think so. Beautiful. All right, so we got four of the five seasonal challenges already set here. So promote three superstars to a new rank. We just finished that. We'll see here in a second. Spent 400,000 on power cards. We'll get there. Money in the bank. We're still working on that. Spent the million on shows. Resolve five rivalries during a PLE. We've resolved two so far. So we, we've hired five superstars. We got the money. So I just need to get two more out of this. And we're halfway there on the power card thing. So who gets progress? Oh. Becky, you may not be happy about what I did. But I think you're going to like the new perk that you're going to get here right away. So everybody's moved up. We're going to start using some of our expert tools of the tool case. And if I got to pull a morale card for uh, Becky, I will, but I need to keep her happy. 
Uh, we did lose geriatric, uh, unfortunately, to gain some cash. Which I'm sure we could fill in with. Hell, we could even use Triton or... I'm sure we could find somebody to cover that spot, so... We'll figure that out as things go along here, but... Word first, let's keep us there. Let's work on this. Let's get it better. Let's get some good matches here for the next show. But with that being said, I think that's going to wrap it up here. Uh, for those on Twitch, hang on a sec. We're just going to do a wrap up here on the old YouTube channel. And uh, then we'll uh, send you guys off here on the Twitch side here. So uh, for those checking this out on YouTube, uh, you can check it out live on Twitch after AEW Dynamite Collision every Wednesday and Saturday. As long as they're two hour shows, they go three. I don't bother. And then... Uh, for those watching on Twitch, these are available on our YouTube channel, Backbreaker underscore gaming, every Tuesday and Friday, Consider as long as I run a show before that. So, uh, yeah, if, you if you're on YouTube, please consider giving a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. But with that being said, thank you, everybody, for stopping by once again. Let's hope we can stay in first going forward. But always remember, no matter what, be part of the solution, don't be part of the problem. And we'll see y'all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.